Hey everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you, how to create image gallery hover effect, using HTML, CSS, and jQuery. Before proceeding further, please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, for more such tutorials. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Open your code editor. Then, create an HTML file. Use link tag, to include our CSS file. In the body, create a section element, with class as gallery. Inside it, create a h2 element, with class as heading. This will be heading of the section. Now, create a div element, with class as container. Inside it, create a div element, with class as box. Add a snake class to it as well. Inside it, use an image tag, to include your picture. I will be using random images. Make sure, the image is in 3 is to 2 aspect ratio, for best results. Create a div element, with class as overlay. Inside it, put the text, that you want to display on hover. Now, repeat the box div, for other images. Be sure to add snake class to every one of them. We will be using Snake Gallery plugin for jQuery, for this project. Include jQuery into the project. All the links will be in description. Now, download the Snake Gallery plugin, and extract the, snake.min.js file, into the root directory of the project. Include it, using script tag. Use another script tag, to write the JavaScript. For all the snake classes, we will call the snakeify function, with animation speed of 250 milliseconds. Let's write the CSS. Let's do a quick CSS reset. For the universal selector, set margin, and padding to zero. Set box sizing to border box. For the gallery class, set max width to 1440 pixels. Set margin top, and margin bottom to zero. 
set, margin left, and margin right to auto. Set padding top, and padding bottom to 50 pixels. Set padding left, and padding right to 0. For the heading class, set text transform to uppercase. Set font size to 50 pixels. Set font family to serif. Set text to line to center. Set color to medium dark shade of gray. For the container class, set margin top to 30 pixels. Set display to grid. Set grid template columns to repeat. 3 comma, 1 fraction. For the box class, set position to relative. Set overflow to hidden. Set cursor to pointer. For the box class's image element, set max width to 100%. Set display to block. For the overlay class, set position to absolute. Set width and height to 100%. Set background color to white with 90% opacity. Set display to flex. Set justify content to center. Set align items to center. Set font family to Arial Helvetica Sans Serif. Set color to previous gray color. Here, our final project is ready. Let's see the preview. It is working as expected. So, that's all for today. Hope you would have enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure, to drop a like on this video, and subscribe to my channel, for more such tutorials. I will meet you next time, till then, good luck, and peace.